Hello all, in this video we will try to learn how to create a proxy in Blender video editing workspace. Before we start right how to create a proxy, I just wanted to let you know why proxy is necessary. In what scenarios you will have to create a proxy. There are multiple reasons why we need to create proxies. So the first one is right to avoid lag. Suppose uh, as you know right when we deal with lots of editing with the videos with the higher end qualities right when we do lots of stuff right it will have lag when we try to uh, edit the stuff. So that's what to avoid the lag or we have to create a proxy. The second is right work, working with multiple video files. Suppose you have multiple video files you are merging them or drawing multiple tasks with those videos and then maybe or you have 4k videos which is a huge size kind of stuff right then what will happen right it, it may try to have that lagginess or maybe you might have that's the another use case suppose you have a normal end machine you don't have any gpu kind of uh, a system even if you have gpu right uh, we usually tend to create proxies to avoid any lagginess or kind of proxies nothing but it will create a dummy clip with reduced quality size so if you see right quality will be reduced for the dummy clip but uh, it will be on only on preview phase so what happens right if when we create a proxy it will just uh, reduce the size in the dummy clip so that we do all the editing on the dummy clip and then once you export that right uh, it will be having the original content like it doesn't have uh, any low end resolution kind of stuff so in the end you'll be having the same output content what you have imported but in the end only in the editing phase right you will see dummy clip which is a reduced quality kind of stuff these all are the scenarios some of the scenarios which i have covered we'll learn how to create proxy in blender video editing workspace so let's begin so let me open blender i'll open uh, video editing workspace and then i have a sample video which we'll be working on this is the sample video i'll just importing this one so i imported this video i'll just align it properly uh, i'll just zoom out so that it fits in so this looks good now so this is the content so if you see right so if i play right so if you see so now it looks like it's lagging okay kind of a bit so it doesn't play that much uh, clearly so this is how it, because it's a 4k one right preview so let me just set preview range to strips and then i'll change so that it plays the entire video uh, so this is how it if you see right it is lagging and on the other part right if i show you the content so if you see it this is playing very nicely here but in in blender it is getting stuck that is a difference so how to avoid it right? so what we can do is that we have we can create a proxy for this so how to create a proxy right you have to go to view option and then there is a option of proxy and then first you have to set a proxy so you have to select on setup and then you have to specify how much uh, quality you want to reduce so i'll select it 25 percent as of now and then click on ok and then once it is done right you have to go again in proxy and then rebuild you have to show it. so what it does right it it creates that rebuild process so if you see right here it is building the proxy so it will do your preview editing phase and then once you export right it will be having the entire original content so let it complete So this has completed. Now if, you, if I play the video, right, if you see it is playing smoother and then the editing, right, so you can do editing on this. So it, it will now have not a, that much of lag in it. So there is another video which I created to reduce the lag in Blender. You can refer that. I'll put that link in the description as well. Thank you all for watching. Bye bye.